Now here at five, a woman living near the Marathon oil refinery has been working for years to bring attention to what she and her neighbors say they have been forced to live with. Emma Lockridge is her name, Devin. She says she's wanted to move out of the area for years, but pollution has wiped out her home's value, leaving her no choice but to stay. Lauren Fidel caught up with her today as she is using a new tactic to raise awareness. Lauren? I've lived in Detroit 48217 probably the majority of my life. This is a glimpse into what living in Emma Lockridge's zip code is like. Thick smoke in the air, protesters trying to get their voice heard, pollution everywhere. This is the street closest to the refinery. Mm -hmm. You just drive over to the street and boom, this is what you see. You start gagging, you start coughing, and you realize you're inhaling their emissions because you, don't, you no longer live near the refinery, you live in the refinery. Lockridge says she feels trapped in her neighborhood on Deacon Street in southwest Detroit, a community also known as The Hole, thanks to their proximity to the Marathon Petroleum Plant. Most recent house on our street sold for $8,159. We're trapped. We can't stay. We can't leave. But Emma says the people who lived in Oakwood Heights on the other side of the refinery were able to leave after Marathon bought them out. The reason? Because we were implementing an expansion project that put our refinery's footprint closer to that neighborhood, we offered a buyout program to folks in that neighborhood who wanted to participate. Oakwood Heights is now a green space and garden, technically a 100 acre buffer between the refinery and neighborhoods, just not Emma's. We're all in the same zip code. They said they were on an island of pollution. Well, so are we. The Oakwood Heights program was not necessarily because we needed the land for any industrial purpose. As a matter of fact, uh, the expansion program was conducted on uh, property that we already owned. But with no buyout plan in sight, Emma hopes these pictures of pollution will show how desperate they are for help. Now, all of the photos you see here will remain on display at Trinity St. Mark's Church in southwest Detroit, all leading up to a big forum on pollution that they'll be having here on Monday at 6 p.m. Emma plans on taking this exhibition to churches all across Detroit and hopefully one day soon to the steps of Lansing. Reporting from southwest Detroit, Lauren Podell, Local 4. All right, Lauren. Well, Marathon says recent tests show they are only responsible for 2% of the emissions in that industrial area. And over several years, they've been able to reduce it by 70%.